In this class on proving the validity for universal instantiation and generalization of the predicate calculus, we would understand this with a very simple example. The example is the very common example that we have been covering in our logic classes and it is all human are mortal, all Greek are human, therefore all Greek are mortal. So let's first write this in our standard forms. So when I say all, I am saying about universal, that's very, very clear. So as mentioned, we can write it as this for all, or I can mention it with this sign to indicate all. Now, when x, for all x, that's what I'm trying to connote here, for all x, if x is human, then x is mortal that's my first formula the first well-formed logic formula as we call it as what we have written here now what would be my second formula my second formula would be from all greek are human so again all so i write it as for all x if x is greek then x is human now this sign, the horseshoe sign that we indicate is used for if then as we have understood in our well-formed formula logic classes. So that is to denote if then and how do I read it? I read it again for you the first statement. This x that I can write it as either inverted a x or x in bracket. I read it as, uh, shall I write it here? So I read it as for all x if x is human then x is mortal so that is for the first statement that i have translated here to help you understand better now based on this two what is the conclusion that i can say the conclusion that i can say is for all x if x is greek then x is mortal this is my conclusion now we bring in universal instantiation in it. Universal instantiation clearly says that we are bringing in a specific case. So what is the case here? Any arbitrarily selected individual. I denote it by Y. Now Y is any arbitrarily selected individual from my whole universe of discourse that we have understood in our basic class on predicate calculus. So I have the whole universe here and from that whole universe I select any arbitrary, any individual and that we call it as Y. Okay. Now with this Y I say that for uh, if y is human then y is mortal and this is so this is my formula one this is my formula two and this is my formula three that for any y if y is human then y is mortal and this is derived from one since this 3 is derived from 1, it is an example of universal instantiation. So, I derive this 3 from 1. I derive this 4 from 2. So, from 4 from 2 would be if y is there, if y is Greek, then y is human. Now, this 4 is derived from to another example of universal instantiation. Now based on these two universal instantiations that I have derived, I apply the hypothetical syllogism as we call and create a fifth logic formula and my fifth logic formula is that if y is Greek then y is mortal so individual after the attribute mortal is m which is the attribute and individual is y which is 
the any arbitrarily selected individual that we have taken and this is kept after the attribute so i derive the fifth formula based on the 3 and 4 so based on 3 and 4 i derive fifth formula and this is based on the hypothetical syllogism as we know now we understood universal instantiation universal instantiation i repeat again i bring in the individual example with any arbitrarily selected individual and when this is true for the whole scenario this turns true for the individual ones and that is what i prove through the universal instantiation universal instantiation is done now what is universal generalization now once i say that this is true for any selected individual from this universe of discourse it has to be true for all other individuals of that universe of discourse and therefore we say this as a universal generalization and we write again based on the state the formula 5 i create a formula 6 and what is my 6 formula my 6 formula is nothing but the first derivative which was from the first and two the first and the second formula so based on 5 so it's not based on the first case it is based on the hypothetical syllogism which is derived by the universalized the universal uh, instantiation of 1 and 2 as 3 and 4 which was done here to create this fifth statement and based on this fifth formula not the statement sorry the fifth formula we have the sixth formula which is our final proof for universal uh, sorry uh, for universal generalization and that is for all x if x is greek then x would be mortal and this is my formula which i derive through universal generalization so in quantification theory when i say universal generalization it is a rule that basically allows you to bring in a valid inter uh, inference of the generalization which is done through instantiation so once you do the instantiations based on the instantiations you say if it is true for each of the instance it would be true for whole of the universe as well and therefore you bring in the universal generalization so this is a very important proof of what we call as the universal instantiation and universal generalization to move again uh, let's bring in the final formula again and this final formula i repeat the six formulas which would be the step by step formula would be what in the first case i say for all x if x is human then x is mortal this is my first formula my second formula is for all x if x is greek then x is human and therefore i can say for all x if x is greek x would be mortal based on this i create a universal instantiation so based on one i would create a universal instantiation which is the formula 3 where i say y if y is human y is mortal and this is based on the universal instantiation of formula 1 therefore i write it parallel to it and where y is what y is any arbitrarily selected individual then i create a formula 4 based on formula 2 which says that y if y is greek y is human based on 3 and 4 i through hypothetical uh, hypothetical syllogism i write this as that if y is greek y is mortal now since i am saying this true for y this is true for an individual of the universe of discourse 
since it is true for an individual item of the universe of discourse it would be true for all items or all individuals and therefore i can say for all x if x is greek then x is mortal and this would be represented as the formula 6 which is the final formula and this final formula is based on universal generalization formula 3 and 4 are based on universal instantiation so this was about proving the two concepts we would be covering many further interesting topics under predicate logic and the theory of quantification so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead